Creating a world as it should be. The power of disabled women activists. 54 disabled women activists from 43 countries revolutionize the status of women with disabilities. Women with disability can work anywhere. It mustn't be specifically on disability issues because it is a whole cross-cutting issue. It is a development issue. Women with disability, including me. I was, I was, I was with this disability since I was two years old until today. I want to tell everybody that we are part of you. We are like you. In India, uh, we say that, uh, of course, it's not in India, it's like globally the disabled women are facing, you know, triple discrimination because of the gender, because they're women, and then for their disability, and then because of gender and disability, extreme marginalization and poverty. In China, in my opinion, women with disabilities, they're pitied. They're considered hopeless. And that there's no opportunities for them to advance. I think uh, culture also contributes to the attitude, you know, because in African culture, there are a lot of issues that discriminate women in general, uh, in particular women with disabilities. It's really difficult for blind women in Sri Lanka. Difficult to get employment opportunities, uh, get into inclusive education. It's really hard. Uh, most of the blind women in Sri Lanka, uh, they are below the poverty line. The issue of women with disability has been invisibility for a very long time. We are everywhere, yet people don't seem to see us. We need to have a, um, a stronger commitment uh, to ensure that disability moves away from being a fringe issue to being one which is fully inclusive. If you're using a human rights perspective, I don't really care if you call me a tomato as long as I can get on the bus. Get in school, get a job, get married, whatever, I, you call me whatever you all want to call me, as long as I have the same rights. I think the key is education. Many of the dis uh, developmental organizations and NGOs have no experience or idea of how to work with people with disabilities or women with disabilities. So I think having experience and being able to come in and consult that they will become more informed and then will provide more opportunities in the future for people. You know, people that use wheelchairs, um, maybe they'll learn that if they're going to be a sponsor, they need to make sure that there's a ramp available and that throughout the building, they need to look for different physical barriers and take those down so that there can be more access. And that specifically women with a disability are not a society problem our society's responsibility, but that they're equal members of society. We are going to accept that absolutely, without any doubt, every disabled girl and every disabled woman will be included 
in every international development program. And I believe that women with disabilities and girls will not only be included in the programs, but they will also be the leaders of the development program. In 1995, when the International Women's Conference was held in Beijing, Mobile International USA helped organize a delegation of 350 women with disabilities to attend a seminar a day before the actual conference. And during that time, we had a chance to do many interviews to ask disabled women what they wanted, what they needed. And what came from all those interviews is that disabled women needed a time and a place to get together, to share ideas, to start moving the disabled women's agenda. And I would say that the Beijing Women's Conference, that was the birthplace of the disabled women's revolution. So after the Beijing conference, we took this idea and said, let's do a program that will bring disabled women with lots of different disabilities from lots of different countries to come together for three weeks to talk about health, to talk about employment, to talk about HIV AIDS, to talk about policy, legislation, ending violence, but also for a chance for disabled women to gain confidence, to gain leadership skills, and to learn from each other. So in 1997, we had first maybe 30 disabled women from about 29 different countries come together to Oregon for three weeks, and that's where we came up with the term loud, proud, and passionate, which really embraced the feeling of so many disabled women who never had a chance maybe before to feel proud of who they are, but not just to feel proud, to strategize, to take action so that disabled women got their human rights. That's what we were there to do. The thing about a three-week WILD program that's different than a conference is we're not in a hotel. The WILD women are with families. We are changing ideas of what it's like to be a person from a Muslim country, a person from an African country, a person from a Latin American country. We are putting together people with different lifestyles, different religions, different cultures. That's how you change a world, I think, so that we have a most peaceful world. We have to get down to a very basic people-to-people -people kind of relationship for us to make the changes in the world that we want to see. And that's why three weeks in people's homes, in the forests, working together, that to me is one of the most successful ways to really bring change into this world. My name is Annie Malinga from Zimbabwe. Hey, my name is Shada. I'm from Palestine. I'm Ashok Nalisti. I come from Bangladesh. I'm Hanan from Ethiopia. My name is Karina Ramos. Soy de República Dominicana. Buenas tardes. My name is Shari Kutakachi. I'm from Ecuador. Good afternoon. My name is Shari, and I come from Ecuador. I'm Kuhu Kuhu Das from India, and. Uh, my name is Yasmina Ristoska from Macedonia. My name is Idoni Kanyama from Burkina Faso. Good evening, I am Jessica from St. Lucia. Hola, mi nombre es Mari. Soy de México, Mano María de México. Good evening, my name is Luz Aguilar from El Salvador. Good evening, everyone. I'm Manny from Sri Lanka. This is Zedaha from Turkey. Um, I'm Fatima and I'm from South Africa. My name is Ruth Sajineke from Cameroon. The strike starts with the back of your hand up. These are action-oriented women who see an idea, conceptualize it, get other information, and make something happen. I had the idea that something had to be accessible. I just couldn't put it in place. I couldn't have the picture of it. But coming to the U.S. is like suddenly you get the picture. You're like, oh! This is what I'm looking for. So when we go back to our countries, we can be more specific and we can talk about tangible things. Well, some of the things that I've uh, seen happen here are things that I never um, dreamt of happening in my country. So it will encourage persons like myself to challenge ourselves to ensure some of these things happen in our country and that we ourselves become stronger persons. The law says, yes, you people are exemption at the discipline. My self-esteem, which I thought was uh, 
if I want to put in a level of one to ten, I thought I was around five. But here at the program, I see that I was around two. And before the end of this program, my self-esteem is towards nine. So I have a lot of work to go back and do in my community. Um, learning about HIV AIDS, I had no idea about where it came from. I knew it was bad, but not necessarily how somebody gets it and how it's transmitted. There are different strains of HIV. With a baby, I learned so much from this program. And I just wish it was longer. I, I want to learn so much more. I'm so excited to be here. Um, although that in my, back in my country, I'm one of the most famous people with disability. But when I came here and I met those wonderful people, how strong they are, I, I learned that I should be stronger and stronger and I learned how to, how to go and ask for my rights and, and I, I feel more empowered every day. It is amazing when you see a group of women with disability come together like this. To me this is networking. We need a kind of refill. Lots of us need to learn from each other what has been happening around the country, around the world. Honestly, from this program, I've been able to get some best practices, which I'm going to take back to my country. of their process from planning up to the process of implementation. We don't want to just be called to come and participate, but we want to be also in the decision-making process. Anything we do that is inclusive, leave nobody behind. Well, we have a long way to go, but we are not alone. There are people who are around the world who are working for the same issue. So we have to network, we have to join hand in hand, and then only it is possible to create, you know, to bring the change. Who changed us? Who changed the best? Who was the best? Yeah. 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 The women were incredible. I think the program was powerful and I think all these women are going to go home and make amazing, amazing things happen. Hey. What does this it mean to It means that we are linked forever. Yeah. All the wild women. Yeah. All these together. We are there for each other. We are sisters. What if disabled women and girls were included in every international development program? What if the international development community and disabled women activists formed partnerships to create a world as it should be?